Hey everybody, right now in Nashville, we are starting our morning with a mostly cloudy sky. Our weather kid, he's got the right idea. He has the umbrella and is ready to go. This is Weston Davis. Uh, Weston is a nine year old student at Northfield Elementary that is down in the Murfreesboro area. It won't rain all day, but there will be several waves of rain that will move across the mid south for us for today. So have the umbrella handy today and be mindful of that for not just this morning, but into the afternoon and some of that holding on into the evening time as well. So it brings up the question about Friday night football. It is back. Actually, there were a couple of games last evening. Uh, if you're headed out to a game, uh, have the uh, have rain gear. You probably can't take an umbrella into the stadium, but just have some uh, a punch or something ready uh, because there will be at least some scattered showers out there for the early part of the evening. They'll gradually die down and then pick back up. One of the games our sports team will be covering Lipsum Academy at Brentwood Academy. First time that that game has taken place since 2002. So for the first time in 18 years, these schools that are a mile and a half apart uh, will play each other. A couple of interesting notes here. Brentwood Academy, their coach is actually uh, a quarantine uh, right now. So don't know if it'll be coaching by Zoom or just turning the uh, the keys over to, uh, to an assistant uh, tonight. And then Lipscomb Academy, uh, their coach, former NFL coach Trent Dilfer, who I believe is in his second season over at Lipscomb Academy. But again, our sports team will be over that and some other games this evening and they're back for their football Friday night at 1020. Here's a look at what's happening right now. Radar from the power of five. Look at that. Here comes a wave of rain moving across the mid south. So we pull this out area of low pressure in association with an upper level low influencing our weather. This is kind of lifting our way as it does. So it's going to send several waves of rain. So you can see a wave of rain right in through here uh, for us this morning. So that one's pushing now through Warren County, Coffee County, Nashville dry after a wave of rain earlier this morning that laid down about a third of an inch out of Nashville International. There's some of the rain now from Collinwood back over into Southern Decatur County. A lot of heavier rain. This has had some lightning at times around summer shade, Kentucky. Meanwhile, the tropics are active right now. Tropical depression number 13 that could become a hurricane headed toward the Gulf of Mexico in the next week. As we watch that one, there's then tropical depression number 14. Laura and Marco would be the next two storms. It could head into the Gulf of Mexico. Two storms there. We'll watch it. Has something like this happened before? Yeah, actually back in 1933, two storms hit the U.S. at the exact same time. 84 today, 86 tomorrow, 89 on Sunday, 91 Monday.